According to received information, Netflix just released a teaser for Money Heist, Korea, joint economic area, a remake of massively popular Spanish heist series Money Heist, or La Casa de Papel, which wrapped up its third and final season last year on the streamer. Although just a remake, there will be changes that inherently come with the different setting and language, as the Honestly, just the fact that season 1 of Money Heist, Korea will be 12 episodes, versus the original's 15-episode first season, broken out into two parts, suggests that we will not be getting the same exact story. But will there be others to expect? And Money Heist only just finished, so why is Netflix choosing to remake Money Heist, and so quickly after the original's conclusion? Obviously, the answer is business which does not inherently mean the K-drama won't be good, or have something different to say with the bones of the same story, but let's break down what that mean. It makes sense for Netflix to adapt a story that has proven itself globally popular, but why in Korea? I've written before about how Netflix has more or less reached a subscriber saturation point in North America, which means, if it is going to grow its subscriber base, then it has to do it elsewhere. This has defined much of Netflix's recent investments, including the $500 million it invested in Korea in 2021 alone. In terms of subscriber growth potential, Netflix has high hopes for the Asia-Pacific region especially, a region that holds 60% of the global population. Though, 18% of the world's population is in China specifically, a country where Netflix does not currently operate. Historically, Korean entertainment has done well in East and Southeast Asia. Note, since 2016, the Chinese government has had an unofficial ban on Korean entertainment in the wake of Korea's agreement to allow the deployment of a U.S. missile defense system THAAD on its soil. In other words, it is worth investing in the Korean entertainment industry not only for the domestic audience it could attract, Korea has a population of just under 52 million, but for the populations in Southeast Asia and in other East Asian countries who have already shown a proven interest in K-content, including Vietnam, Thailand, Taiwan, the Philippines, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Japan. What do you think? Write your comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell for more videos and notification.